Good morning and happy Friday. Welcome to the second session of Writer's Workshop this week, where we're going to take these topic notes all about goals and write it into an essay. Were you surprised at how quickly it was to brainstorm out a whole entire essay? Did you ever think that you could write an essay in a day? It's awesome to see that big, beautiful brain of yours at work and taking thoughts, making it turn to things when we put this all together. Today, you're going to need your notes that you started with me all the way back on Tuesday. So go ahead and pull those out so we can now brainstorm through how to take just thoughts and topics and ideas and make them into sentences. Just this sheet alone is the first step in looking at how to write our introduction. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to talk it out with my topics so that you see my thought process when you're working it with your topics. Teachers, feel free to pause at any time when you need to address your students or encourage some workshopping going on. Join on in as we write an essay in a day. Topic, goals, thesis. My goal for myself today are to, it's about completing all my assignments, to beginning my master's degree, and to plant flower beds. I'm going to take those ideas into a thought train that develops our introduction right now. 117 on the clock. I bet we have it done in under a minute. Ready? Here we go. Taking ideas and turning them into cohesive, fluent sentences. That sentence fluency, like you heard in the idea video yesterday, sentence fluency makes our essay sound great when we read it out loud. So let's talk about the purpose of this. It was just your teacher asking you to think about goals. So that's going to be how we introduce this. Our teacher asked us to think about goals. There's your introduction sentence right there. Our teacher asked us to think about goals. Now remember you're always striving for five in your paragraphs and you want to give me three on all your details so we can now develop this idea into five sentences all about goal setting. Goal setting is important for everyone. There's our next sentence. Goal setting is important for everyone. Did you enjoy thinking about this? Even if you didn't, it's a great thing to say. I enjoyed thinking about what I want to achieve in my life. There's our third sentence. I enjoyed thinking all about what I'd like to achieve in my life. I came up with some great ideas and then I'm going to put down this thesis sentence. Look at that, we have a five sentence paragraph right off the bat. What'd I say? Uh, I remember. I came up with some great ideas. Some great ideas. I'm going to put in an exclamation point. Now I'm going to write my thesis. My goal, same exact sentence that I gave you, goals for myself today are to complete all assignments, begin paperwork for my master's degree, and plant flower beds, and to plant flower beds. Look at that one whole introduction paragraph. Now I wrote nice and big because I have a sharpie and it's blue, but <clears throat> this is a great outline now where I can type. You always want to be writing out by hand your ideas because that's what turns thoughts to things and makes your writing real to you. So always writing things down now gives you the ability to use your computer for the publication process of the writing process. Pretty cool, huh? Listen to this paragraph. Our teacher asked us to think about goals. Goal setting is important for everyone. I enjoyed thinking all about what I'd like to achieve in my life. I came up with some great ideas. My goals for myself today are to complete all assignments, begin paperwork for my master's degree, and to plant flower beds. Ta-da! One whole paragraph off of just this topic and the experience that went into brainstorming. We're ready to move on to our body paragraphs. Flip that page, and I'm on body paragraph one, all about completing my assignments. Transition words, that's something that builds our sentence fluency and our organization. Think about those traits you heard in the video yesterday. Let's use first, second, and third. Those are just orderly numbers that now connect our paragraphs in our body, amping up those writing skills for you to use to show off what a great writer you really are. 
Okay, into the body. Here we go. My first goal for the day is to complete all my assignments. My first goal for today is to complete all my assignments. Now I'm taking those three details I had about getting straight A's, my group members are waiting on me, and I am enjoying my own learning, developing sentences right now. My first goal for today is to complete all my assignments. I enjoy getting straight A's. So I know I better get busy. Do you see how I added a fun detail there to make my sentences longer? And it makes my writing a little bit more interesting. My group members are also waiting on me. My group members are all waiting on my portion for our project. I really enjoy my own learning. And I'm excited to finish this. Look at that. Bam, we got a five paragraph essay right there just going off of the three things that we listed in our brainstorm notes. Listen to the whole paragraph now. My first goal for today is to complete all my assignments. I enjoy getting straight A's, so I know I better get busy. My group members are also all waiting for my portion to finish for our project. I really enjoy my own learning, and I'm excited to knock these out of the park today. That's what I'm going to write down. I just put to knock these out, but you get the point. Ta-da, another whole paragraph done. We are only six seven minutes in and we are almost done with this we're moving on to body paragraph two now talking about the paperwork for my master's degree gonna use that transition word second my second goal of the day is to turn in paperwork regarding my master's degree there are so many paperwork deadlines going right off of my brainstorm notes. I'm looking forward to beginning this process and I'm studying brain science at IUN. That's my next sentence. I look forward to this process to study brain science at IUN. I've always had a goal to start this before my 40th birthday and I'm right on track to start that goal. I'm gonna write that down. It's 40th birthday because it was always a goal to begin for my birthday. Learning is the best gift you can ever give yourself. That's just a good wrap-up sentence for that paragraph. Ta-da! Look at this. We are knocking these paragraphs out, you guys. How fun is this? Body paragraph two. Right off of that master's degree. Listen to it. My second goal of the day is to turn in paperwork regarding my master's degree. There are so many paperwork deadlines. I look forward to this process to study brain science at IUN. I am starting for my 40th birthday because I always had a goal to begin that gift for my birthday. Learning is the best gift I can ever give myself. Ta-da! Another paragraph done and we're still under 10 minutes. Let's do this last paragraph right here. Talking about planting flower beds. My third goal of the day is to plant some flower beds in my yard. Flower beds are part of my business goals. I also garden and plant beds or and plant flowers to relax and unwind. I especially will love how pretty my yard is come Sunday. Ta-da!
ta-da, another third paragraph right here. My third goal of the day is to plant flower beds in my yard. Flower beds are a part of my business goals. I also garden and plant flowers to relax and unwind. I especially will love how pretty my yard is come Sunday. That's why I'm determined to accomplish this goal. I need one more sentence. That's why I'm determined to accomplish this goal. Ta-da! Right there, five sentences off of those three gimme details. Strive for five, we're now on to our conclusion. The conclusion is an easy way that you just wrap up what you're doing and you can, in this instance, encourage your reader to strive for some goals on their own. Goal setting is fun. It's something that should inspire you to think about the way you want to create your life experience. Whether it be something easy like getting caught up on laundry or organizing your desk, a life goal like starting a master's degree or getting straight A's, or something that you want to experience that's fun and creative like a sports goal or planting flowers. So in this conclusion, I'm going to encourage you to think about wrapping up your ideas and giving your reader some ideas about how they can achieve their goals too. Let's talk it out. Conclusion here. You can see that goal setting is easy and fun to do. You can see that goal setting is easy and fun to do. Everyone should always be setting goals. They really do make life a lot of fun. Now this last sentence, here we go. This is where you talk directly to your reader and you say, go out and achieve your goals today too. I'll have fun doing mine, you have fun doing yours. Today too, I will have fun with mine. Don't you wanna join me? Don't you want to join me? Ta-da! Look at that. We have our entire five paragraph essay in less than 10 minutes, guys. Focus thought is all that it takes. And it's just going through the writing process, looking at the ideas in your head, slowing down a little bit to make yourself some good notes. Remember, did our whole entire introduction off of that topic and thesis that I gave you. Your details of gimme three, for your assignments, paragraphs, then turn into this, and we've got our whole writing process here. I'm able to show you some sentence fluency now. I'm able to show you how ideas came to life in that brainstorming process. I'm able to show you how sentence fluency, using things like transitions, easily connects your ideas and words and phrases into cohesive, well-written, essay-formed sentences. Listen up as I read it, and we're done. My teacher assigned us an essay all about goals. Goal setting is something important for every single student. I started thinking about goals to accomplish with my academic and professional life. My goals for myself today are to complete all assignments, to begin my master's degree paperwork, and to plant flower beds. Does that sound like the essay where I wrote? No, that was my rough draft of my rough draft. I tore out the wrong one. Ta-da! Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Even teachers have brain moments sometimes. Here it is. Ta-da! Our teacher, start over. Our teacher asked us to think about goals. Goal setting is important for everyone. I enjoyed thinking all about what I'd like to achieve in my life. I came up with some great ideas. My goals for myself today are to complete all assignments, to begin my master's degree paperwork, and to plant flower beds. My first goal for today is to complete all my assignments. I enjoy getting straight A's, so I know I better get busy. My group members are all waiting on my portion for our project to finish. I really enjoy my own learning, and I am excited to knock these out today. My second goal of the day is to turn in paperwork to begin my master's degree. There are so many paperwork deadlines. I love looking forward to this process to study brain science at IUN. I am starting for my 40th birthday because I always had a goal to begin that gift for my birthday. Learning is the best gift I can ever give myself. 
My third goal of the day is to plant flower beds in my yard. Flower beds are a part of my business goals, and I also garden and plant flower beds to relax and unwind. I especially will love how pretty my yard is come Sunday. That's why I'm determined to accomplish that goal. You can see that goal setting is easy and fun to do. Everyone should always be setting goals. They really do make life a lot of fun. Go out and achieve your goals today too. I will have fun with mine. Don't you want to join me? Now, you just saw that I put in some really good thought of how to organize this essay and thought about my introduction a couple times. This was another rough draft and you got to see that process a little bit too. But as you're thinking and talking things out, I promise your essays will be just as easy to flow together as this was. Have a great day, and thanks for paying attention and joining in on the writing process.